Now, I know uh, Aperture is strictly for Apple or Mac uh, programs. Um, can we go into that and see what app Aperture does for uh, images? Yeah, sure. Have you got an example for us? Absolutely, Stuart. Now, remember, uh, Aperture is one of these raw specialty type programs. So let's see what we can do with a raw file. All right, so here we are in Aperture, and this time we're going to have a look at the real power of RAW. As you can see in this image, we've got an overexposure problem. And, um, well, if we had shot with JPEG, we could certainly make the picture a little darker, but really any kind of blown highlights would really have been lost. Now, to give us an idea of where the damage is, um, we can turn on a feature here called uh, show hot and cold areas. And what this does here is it superimposes either uh, red or blue patches on our image. The red ones, where you see red here, basically indicate where we have an overexposure problem. We don't see any blue patches here because we don't have any underexposure problems here. This is just strictly an overexposed image. So I'm going to temporarily take away my hot and cold areas. I need my tools now. i got to fix this. So to do that, I'm going to go over here to the left side of Aperture. And among these three tabs, I'm going to click on Adjustments. And it's here where I basically have all of my adjustment tools. Now, um, first things first, I need to adjust my exposure. I need to darken this down a little bit. So I'm going to simply click and drag this slider here to the left, slowly to the left, until I get an image here that I'm kind of satisfied with overall. Now, just because I'm satisfied with it overall doesn't mean it's really ready to go. There may be some uh, devils in the details, so to speak, with this. I'm going to go back to my hot and cold areas indicator, and you'll notice I still have some remaining red patches. Those areas there are still overexposed. So, the rest of my image is fine. I just, right now, I, I, I'm missing details in the groom's uh, shirt here, as well as his best man shirt. All of this detail is gone. So to help recover that, I'm going to bring back my warnings here. And I'm going to go to the next slider down. Just below exposure is my recovery slider. And the recovery slider is going to do something special. It's going to reach into the bright highlights of my raw image, and it's going to pull them back. If you watch the histogram here, you'll notice that the recovery slider doesn't shift the entire histogram. It concentrates on the right-hand side of the histogram, which is where my uh, bright highlights are. So here we go. I'm going to take that recovery slider to the right, slowly to the right, and as I do so, you'll notice that the red patches begin to disappear until I get to a point where I've pretty much recovered almost all the highlights. Now, if I wish to finish the job, I can also come down here to the highlights and shadow sliders here. I can go to my highlight slider, bring it down a little bit, and bring even a little bit more detail into the shirts. I'm going to just zoom in a touch here, and there's our after image here. Let me just get the groom's face back into view. There's our after image. I'm going to hit the M key to show my before, get rid of those warnings there. There's my before, after, and before. And as you can see, we've been able to not only bring back the whole exposure, but to also rescue some of the highlights that would otherwise have been lost if we had shot JPEG.